Hey there, everybody. Scott Riley at the Market Update Desk, powered by Mortgage One. Well, January 31st is here, and we got the one of the critical data pieces for the week in the ADP payroll report. And we got some other interesting news today. Let's let's go through it here. So today, ADP came out with their uh, December payroll numbers, and it shows that we created 107 thousand private payroll jobs. Now the issue is the market was expecting 150,000. What does that mean? The bond market is really liking it. Let's go down and see what each sector did during that period. So goods pro, good pro, goods producers sector created 30,000 jobs. Manufacturing added 22,000 jobs and the service sector industry um, created 77,000. And actually within the service sector, the subsector that added the most was travel and leisure, which is interesting because in yesterday's JOLTS report, that showed the fewest job openings, uh, contraction of job openings. So we're getting some conflicting data, which is no surprise when it comes to jobs week. Um, annual pay for job stayers rose 5.2% month over month and job changers 7.2 percent month over month now both of these are actually slight decreases from the previous reading so we are starting to see some some decreasing pressure on wage and for wage inflation um, this gives us um, it's showing us that employers fewer employers are trying to pull employees from other jobs um, Employment cost index. Now the employment cost index is a reading of what the cost of employment is for employers. In fact, it was um, the previous Fed chair legend, Alan Greenspan's favorite measure of uh, wage inflation. And it is a very uh, important index number for Chairman Powell. So quarter over quarter, we saw a nine tenths raise in the employment cost index. Now that was actually one tenth lower than the expected 1% increase in wage price index. So what that's doing is giving us some relief on wage, uh, wage prices and wage inflation. That along with the, the most recent PCE report, this ADP jobs report, are all gonna play into the Fed's commentary tomorrow, uh, later today at two o'clock. Now we know they're not gonna raise rates. The question is, are they going to give us the, the um, landing strip for when they're going to start decreasing uh, rates? That's going to be the big one. Is it going to be March or is it going to be May? And are we going to have three to four uh, drops in interest rate or are we going to have five to six that the market is hoping for? So that's all going to play out later today uh, when, when we get the Fed's commentary. Uh, now, right now, the mortgage-backed security market is up 28 basis points. That's a big jump for the day. And the 10-year treasury is now down, um, looks like 3.95. Just about two days ago, we were sitting at three uh, 4.15. So we're seeing a decline in that, which gives us better mortgage rates. Now, the big thing is going to be Friday, obviously, with the BLS jobs report. But if today's ADP report is any indication of what we'll get on Friday, we could be in for a very good two-day run here. So let's see what uh, Chair Powell is going to give in his Q&A. And hold on tight. Hopefully we don't get a, um, a, a claw back in the market from what we've gained this morning. So we'll keep on top of everything and get the information to you. Hope you have a great afternoon. Give us a call to get pre-approved. 616-293-2189. Scott Riley, the Market Update Desk.